What's up, friends of the good mood? It's Manny, and welcome to one of the craziest test servers we had in a while. A massive rebalance for Nightingales, for Hawk, for Scorpions. All the info in a few seconds. We have a new robot called Demeter. That's the uh, weirdest looking robot we ever had in the game. Look, it looks like it's stuck half in the ground, right? Only half the robot is sticking out. But no, it actually does look like this and has thrusters on the downside. And uh, it's a support robot, okay? So what it does... You have an ability you can teleport to a friendly, to an ally, and activate an absorber shield to block incoming damage for the both of you, and you heal your ally at the same time. Okay, and then you can probably teleport back, I guess. I haven't tested it yet. So that's the first thing, and then the more damage is blocked by the absorber shield, the more powerful your healing gets. However, it may not be fully thought through by Pixonic because remember that these weapons destroy any chance of healing anything back, which this is why I say from the day one that they shouldn't deactivate all healing. They should just make healing a little bit less effective when they hit or something like this because otherwise those support robots just don't work like Nightingale as well, right? So that's one thing, the new robot. Then we have also on this test server the new uh, heavy version of uh, Wasp called Hornet and the light version of Pulsar called Magnetar. A video already from the last test server where I tested these weapons in great detail. In the top right corner, check that video out and you'll get exactly to the gameplay with those weapons. I'm not doing this again because I've already done it, okay? Then, we have a lot more balancing changes for the Hawk, Scorpion, Nightingale and some other things. Let's jump into the Warabots test server Facebook page. This is where you get all the info for Warabots test servers. The download links for the game clients to play them, uh, as well as all the news and to know on Friday if there is on Saturday going to be a test server or not. So, new robot Demeter explained, Hornet Magnetar is clear. New moon map, okay, and then we have robot and uh, a weapon re rebalance, and that's a big one, guys. Before we jump into the gameplay, I have to share this with you because it's really important. The Hawk, ability damage against Titans, 100%, as usual, against robots, from 100 to 50% reduced. That means the Rohawk will no longer fly around and delete every robot in three seconds from the battlefield. It is gonna do what it's supposed to do, counter Titans, but against robots, it will still be strong, but it, it, it will not instantly kill them in like two seconds of laser beaming, okay? Because it will deal half the damage only against the robots, which is still a lot. And then, similar to the Aochun, I said it in one of my recent videos, I think it should have been like the Aochun, um, the Reflector, so the Resistance and the Reflector ability will only activate when he activates the ability and reaches the highest point of his flight, and then it will deactivate, I think, the moment he starts to descend. So you have a shorter duration on the Reflector and the, um, the Resistance, I think. Nightingale, here's also a big change, guys. Flight speed has been reduced from 83 to 60, but the repair radius has been increased from 50 to 75, so you can heal a bigger group now with the Nightingale. But at the same time, and that's the biggest change, the flight height, the level of altitude while flying has been increased. Together with the radius increase means you fly higher and you can heal more around you, including down to the ground. Since you fly higher, you must heal deeper too, right? But the thing is, this may actually finally do what I've wanted to all along, is that the Nightingale is not able to hover over a beacon and make everybody unable to capture anything uh, for 30 seconds. Then it lands, phase shift, last stand, 12 seconds, back up for 30 seconds and capturing and holding the beacon forever. Maybe it now flies higher than the beacon range, and so you cannot capture a beacon unless you start from a start flying from a lower altitude. Let's see if that's the case, I do not know. Uh, Scorpion, also massive change. Damage resistance from 50 to 35% and um, the ability duration from 12 to 8 seconds. So you have less time to deal damage before you have to teleport back. If you want to teleport back, you don't have to. And then Quarker Atomizer, Nucleon, Shot Interval uh, increase, so they fire 50% slower now. Okay, that might do 50% less damage. I'm not sure. Let's let's find out. Shredder, minus 10% damage per partic particle and plus 2 seconds to reload time. Effect accumulation is 20% slower. So that is the whole test server. Let's finally dive into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and by the way, while we're in the loading queue anyways, here's a video from yesterday that you need to watch. You're not gonna want to miss that, ladies and gents. Just a quick show. Yes. There we go. Wonderful. Noricom's 300% damage. the drone. And oh yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man, I can actually cheer with myself for this one, man. Check out the video on the top right. You don't want to miss out on those 300% damage Norikums that I've done yesterday, guys, if you haven't yet seen it. And share the video if you can. Oh, I actually found a match now. Cool. All right, so let's jump right into the gameplay and uh, hopefully test this without lags because we do have some crazy connection issues on this weekend's test server. Uh, but you see right here, this guy just activated his teleport and you see then the purple uh, absorber shield around him, okay? Uh, you can also activate this for yourself if you don't look at an enemy, at an ally. Wow, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. See, now I'm activating the absorber shield for myself and basically just stop myself from um, taking any damage well, for a while anyways all right here comes this guy coming back all right yeah, come on get down get down nice somebody jumped on me and he's healing me nice see this guy just gave me a nice sweet healing all right nice cool all right this guy over there he needs some help i'm jumping on him i think i did in time no actually i apparently he already had his jump so yeah, okay, he's doing that thing. Okay, wow, I'm taking some heavy damage right now. I'm gonna try and get, get around. Really? Oh, that's why. Okay, I didn't know that was another, another dude behind me. Okay, so this guy's shoot should deactivate any moment now. Any day now. Okay, there we go. Alright, taking quite a bit of damage so far, but... I want to heal somebody. Is there anybody I can jump on and heal? So he's teleporting back. This guy right there. Jumping in. Okay. I didn't get the right person. Because you can't actually change. Uh, who you want to target as an ally. Okay, he's got the shield up. Problem is that I'm missing a weapon already. That sucks. That shield lasts longer than it should, to be honest. Seriously. That shield should not be lasting this long. That's, that's not normal. I got absolutely no chance against this much firepower that he's got right there. It's such a lame setup. It's such a lame thing because you can't heal it back. So here's an enemy. Going for it. Nice. Alright, so who can we heal? Let's heal up somebody. Aha. Here comes some Hydras. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to heal him up. And boom. Trying to splash around the corner. Okay, nice. The vortex hasn't really hit very well, but... Okay, is he gonna fly? Okay, that was good. This guy, okay, just uh, ruined him completely. I can heal up this person. Let's do that. Okay, and then healing pulse. Whoosh! Nice. Okay, down to last stand with him. He has now less resistance, as we have learned. He gets killed relatively good. Okay, good. What is that here? Yeah, it's lagging way too much, man. So, oh, these guys, these guys, they need healing. Healing. And boom. Where, did he, where is he? What the heck? Where is he? I just jumped on him. What? Dude, where's the guy that I wanted to heal? There he is. Uh, I guess he did kind of uh, got healing, but... Alright. Then let's absor absorber shield activated. See that? I'm blocking his damage. And I'm also triggering the healing. Boom, healing pulse triggered. Nice. He seems to be thankful. He's looking at me like, whoa, nice, dude. Thank you so much. 
All right, let's get this thing out of the way. Oh, I think I'm getting hit from behind. Yep, I am. Jumping on this person right there. Right there in the distance here. Healing pulse activated. Nice. Blocking damage. What is happening with the Nucleons? You see how much damage I'm taking? They kill you in two seconds now. What is this? That's not normal. Alright, let's heal up, heal up myself. And these guys there too. Yeah, I'm healing. Whoop. Oh, I couldn't jump on him. He's too far away. So did you see that? I was unable to jump on the guy. I could activate healing for myself. But there was no jump coming out. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is how it works. This guy. That, that guy. Let's heal him. Boop, coming for him. And boop. And then healing pulse. Whoosh. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I like this robot. I like the idea. It's just that the that the sonic weapons destroy the very principle of this. Like, the entire idea behind the support robot is getting completely deleted and then made useless by... Um, by the sonic weapons, right? Did I not just get the guy? Okay. Can I teleport on? What happens if I teleport onto a Titan in the air? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, you actually jump up there and you can you can hit him. Uh, like uh, you can. All right, let's get this guy down to last stand first, then hitting him here. And then oh, okay, he went back. But the the good thing is that his shields don't work against the cryos, so I can take cake him down really well. Okay, trying to heal him and giving him a shield here. Look, now he's getting a shield from me. Uh-oh. Okay, I have to get behind cover here. Dude, this is working really well with a support ability right now. Uh, but that shield lasts for quite a long time. I think what happens is the more you fire at the thing, the longer the shield will last. Or is that happening? I don't know if that's the case. Okay, here we go. Now we're behind him. Wait, he's... No way, Dick. He has the shield again? How did that make sense? Did you see that? He, he still has the shield. This shield is, has been there for the last 40 seconds now. It's never ending. Unlimited. He knows how it's bugging out. It's not supposed to last this long. He knows how the bug works. Why it triggers, how it triggers, how it keeps on going. And he knows all he's got to do is make sure no one gets inside that shield. That's all he's got to do. Alright, let's go for this guy. Bring up the shield and heal him. Whoosh. And you see that Nightingale is flying way, way high. Way up high. Alright. There he goes. Alright, let's go for him there. And then face shift. And then activate the shield here. Heal up, protect. Okay, is my shield still running? Nope, it is not. The damage these Kit Titans do with their uh, stealth ability is crazy. Okay. Protecting him. Nice. Absorber shoot is still there. Still there. Still there. Wow. So it seems like the more you get hit and the more you absorb, the longer the thing will activate. Aha. Uh -huh. So all you've got to do is make sure you really are the one getting hit all the time with that absorber shield. Cool. So next match, boom. Battle begins immediately, that's great. So it seems like the lags have been sorted out a little bit. Let's go and use the Demeter ourselves this time with the Sonic weapons. Uh, as we know, um, nobody's gonna be able to heal any of that back, uh, which really needs to change in my opinion. The Sonic weapon, I just, Ruin what makes uh, what the, the use of uh, support robots. 
He lags so much that I can barely move forward. Alright, I'm blocking the damage here. And he's just, he's, he is a boss at blocking me, dude. He's a boss at blocking me. <laughs> I just could not get, get past this person. Alright, so we're in the game. And there's a Bulgazari and one of those other things coming as well. Okay. This guy should no longer have a shield. Okay. Shield is still up here. As long as the shield remains, I don't have to go back. Yep, shield is still up. He's probably like, why is the shield still up for this long time? And I think it's because they have been firing at me for such a long time. Nice. Good, this guy bit the farn. And I can at any given time jump on, for example, Kuto right there. And uh, start healing him. See? Boop. Now I'm out of the, uh, out of the danger area. Something is wrong with the Nucleons. They delete you in a, within two seconds now. Okay. Okay. No one is shooting at me right now. Okay. I'm inside the shoot, so once it pops... Yep, got it. This guy is well here, come on. Alright, I'm healing up and I'm staying out of his shield. Nice. Cool. There we go. Dealing some sweet damage and now I can start to heal up these, gu these guys here. Music! That's right. Teleporting after him. Look, I just teleported up here. I just teleported up here. That's awesome. He's probably be like, how the hell did you get up here, dude? How in the world did this guy get up here? <laughs> I just teleported after the scorpion who teleported after someone else. That is hell of a funny thing right there. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, I can't actually... Ha! Ah, I am healing. Boom, boom. Okay, I got killed finally, but I did a lot with this setup. So let's go and use the Nucleon version. Uh, it's firing slower. Yeah, you can tell that the projectiles are no more, no longer as fast as they used to be. Okay. He's going down. Teleported away. Oh, unfortunately, I am within his weapons range, but no more. He is also out of range. See, he can't hit me, but I can hit him. He just activated his shield. Still out of range. They can't... Both of them can't hit me. Yeah, the shield is supposed to be down by now, but somehow... Whoa! What has happened there? Let's jump on him and help him. Yeah, that's right. I'm here, man. You've got a shield now. I'm with you, buddy. Shield is already gone, it seems, but we got him to kill. Okay, here is a Nightingale. Okay, I am getting hit from behind from a Titan. But I should be able to, uh, to block that Titan damage with the Absorber Shield. Also deleting this guy real quick. Nice. We'll back on the Titan. Let's test against the Hawk if he in fact does lose his resistance already. Yep, he's starting to take more damage as he already, as he descends. He's missing me quite a bit. Nice, Absorber Shield is with us. This guy's gonna stealth jump now. 
He's missing me with all his shots right there, man. Okay, I'm having the absorber up. Oh, oh, I teleported to the wrong person. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Didn't mean to teleport to this guy. I, wa I wanted to teleport to the uh, guy right in front of me there. But that's the problem. You, you, it's not so easy to actually choose who you want to jump on. So let's help out the uh, Minos Titan in just a second. There we go. Let's go for it. All right, and healing up. Yep, he's going down quick. Wow, we're flattening the enemy base here. This thing controls a little bit like the um, the Nodens. The Nodens with its weird, um, weird feet or tentacles. Okay, healing, 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 and then healing pulse at the last... Oh, I forgot. I uh, didn't activate the healing pulse in time. Yep, see the Nightingale ha flies about... About the height of his own robot higher than before, and therefore... Uh, might not be able to capture beacons now from this day on. Let's go for him. Here, I'm, I'm putting up a shield around him. Yep, I think I'm blocking the damage. I had to find the right distance there. Alright, so... Yeah, okay, so I guess we get a good impression of how this robot works, right? You can uh, either activate the shield just for yourself, or uh, you just go and teleport on somebody. You cannot teleport away from someone anymore, so that does not work. Uh, but yeah, you can uh, you can heal yourself, you can heal allies, you can shield them, and you've also seen that the hawk loses its resistance. Aha! Look, my shield is currently up. See, I'm blocking all the damage. So he rather goes for a different target. Do I still have the shield? Uh, yep, the shield is still there somehow. My last stand activated, okay. Alright, so how many robots does this guy still have? It can't be anymore, right? Teleporting, 500 meters teleport at Al... Al yep, Alas, or uh, what his name is. You have almost 500, more than, more than 450, probably 500 meter range on the teleportation. Very interesting. All right. Lots of firepower, absorber shield, so it can't even be used as a one-on-one -on -one robot in certain ways. Um, and it also heals itself as well. Uh, but the thing is that these weapons, as I said, uh, they ruin all the healing. And they will be becoming more and more popular. So uh, the thing is that the, all the support healing and aspects aren't really working well as long as uh, Pixonic keeps it so that these weapons re re you know, reduce all healing to zero effect. Uh, maybe it should just uh, reduce healing, but not to zero. Uh, that is my my feedback on those weapons right there. Uh, but the robot itself seems fun. It seems useful uh, if it wasn't if we take uh, uh, away uh, all the effects from the sonic weapons for the moment. Um, and yeah, so uh, what do you think about the nerfs and the changes? In my opinion, the hawk uh, is a is a, a useful uh, useful change. Uh, of course, there will be people who have their hawks who love the hawks. Remember, I have two hawks on my own account as well, so I'm heavily hit by this too, but in the grand scheme of things, for the game and the health of the balance, I think it's uh, it's better to have the robot counter titans as it was supposed to, but not ruin every other robot within two seconds. The Nightingale capturing holding beacons for a minute straight and nothing you can do about it. Um, maybe now with a higher flight altitude, maybe that will make it a bit more difficult for Nightingales to do that. Maybe they have to start flying from a lower altitude now 
to do that. It's still possible. Um, if that is what changed, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see how this looks. And the Scorpion, uh, it is an assassin. It is super powerful, but now it has to watch its own HP also a bit while fighting. Um, and it's not having as much resistance and needs to teleport back a little bit earlier. Um, it will still allow you to fire empty pretty much all your weapons, no matter what. So, uh, yeah, I think there's not too much of a change when it comes to how the Scorpion plays, but the resistance uh, a bit lower, that was something that Scorpion will notice. But yeah, tell me what you think about those changes, right? I have only my perspective. Uh, thanks for watching, even though I'm sorry for not having been able to show you a really lag-free test server experience this time. I've already asked around everybody else. It seems to be having the same problem as well. So uh, yeah, for now, this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, man. And until next time. And don't forget those links I've shown you. Bye-bye.